Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Spider-Man Far From Home to see how accurate all the signs of technology in this movie really are. Edith. Stand by for retinol and biometric scan. Retinol and biometric scan accepted. Hello? Hello, Peter. I am Edith. Tony Stark's augmented reality oh. security and defense system. So he made you for me? No. This is a very advanced version of Google Glass, and it should come as no surprise that Tony Stark is way ahead of Google. With these smart glasses, there's a small laser projecting all the information on a 300 by 300 little pixel area, and that'll give you notifications, text messages, uh, GPS directions, and you know, all that good stuff. Displaying all this information on the screen at one time can really overwhelm somebody who's not used to these glasses and for one of the reasons like engineers would never actually make something like this in the real world because wearing these glasses actually makes your vision worse than if you didn't have these on and it's kind of you don't want the device to like remove its primary function for all of its secondary functions like the first thing you want your glasses to do is be able to you know, see out of them if they're actually like prescription lenses and this is like kind of what you're adding them onto. In these cases, they're just sunglasses, right? So it's not really that big of a deal. You're not actually wearing sunglasses to improve your vision, right? You're just kind of wearing them to like block out the sun and give you some shade. But even so, there's just so much going on at once. You really don't want to like, like you don't want to drive a car and not be able to see outside the windshield. So it's very similar with these glasses. This is what the view looks like from smart glasses today. It's much more subtle and doesn't divert your attention quite as much. These smart glasses that we purchase have built in functions, but they work best when paired with a smartphone. Now, I don't know if Edith and Jarvis are actually like paired or connected to the same server. It appears like they are, and I think that's something that people will eventually move towards, but like, Google isn't caught up with Tony Stark yet. Yeah, he's a target. He's a target. Copy um, that. Target is Brad Davis. Initiating strike. Initiating what now? Intercept point determined. Releasing kill vehicle. Edith. As crazy as this actually looks, it is even more like beyond crazy and beyond insanity to think that this is absolutely possible today. It's well, what Peter has just done is he's given a voice command to execute, you know, something else that the computer has already stored inside of it. Like th this technology is very, very similar to just like uh, speech to text. Where it's like you're just talking to your phone and you're saying like send a text message to you know whoever and it's like it'll tell mom blank and then it'll send the text to your mom if you have that as a contact on your phone. This is 99% the same thing. You're just telling the computer that already has preset um, commands and functions and saying like you know summon a drone to this look whatever it is right like the AI that's Edith can actually pick up whatever you're trying to tell her and it'll execute you know the command that was stored like this is very much possible right now. The drone won't enter the atmosphere that quickly. Um, like for perspective, it takes about eight minutes for a space shuttle to go from rest on the surface of the earth all the way up into orbit. And that's because it's gotta go from zero miles per hour to like 18,000 miles per hour. And now with this, obviously it's, it, it's in reverse. It's actually coming like from space into like the surface of the earth. And obviously when something is coming back, it's coming back at much higher speeds. And that's like what we can see is like, there's a casing around the drone that's burning part of it so that way the drone itself doesn't get damaged but it, it would still like if it takes eight minutes to go from the surface up to orbit to go from orbit back down to earth you actually have to slow down quite a bit and the the speed you're coming down with is just way too high it won't reach the surface that quickly even more of a coincidence is that the satellite has to be just hovering over exactly where peter is at this moment like let's just say that Peter right now is in Italy, except the Stark satellite is hovering over New York. I mean, it's going to take even longer for, for like the drone to leave that satellite over New York and get all the way around the world to Italy. This is really, really cool because that license plate on the car is actually an Easter egg. 
ASM28965 stands for Amazing Spider-Man issue 28, which was released in 1965. And in that issue of Amazing Spider-Man is the first appearance of Molten Man, which is the fire elemental that we're seeing in the movie right now. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> yes! Somebody get this stupid costume off me! When this happened in theaters, I just remember my mind being just like completely blown. I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? If you get enough holographic projectors in one room like that, you can absolutely confuse anybody. I mean, so visually, like you have that covered all the projections and you have the sense of touch, which like uh, he led Peter to the bar. So it's like that never was an issue. Then there's smell, which I guess you can mask the smell with like whatever scents you have. I mean, it, there's actually alcohol there at the bar, so Peter can still smell that. I mean, what else is there? Like, vi like sound-wise, you can play sound from speakers, so it's like uh, vision, hearing, touch, sound. I mean, taste. Like, he, he just made a real drink, right? So it's like everything about that is absolutely real for messing with somebody and making them believe that there's other things around them that there actually aren't. This is my question for the movie that I still don't have quite answered, so if anyone in the comments wants to let me know what act is going on, please tell me. I've always wondered, why is it Peter can't see all of them? Like, what, why? Because whenever he has the glasses on, like, it's like there's a bunch of, like, Stark technology all in that room. Like, all those drones were from Stark, like, right? And why is it when he wears those glasses, the glasses don't identify all of them just like instantly, right? It's like some of those people are holographic projections. I'm surprised that the glasses can do all of these things, but they can't identify other Stark tech. Like when you think about it, like whenever you have like a MacBook Pro, it'll register any other Apple device around it, even if they can connect to it or not. So I would think that Tony Stark has something similar going on with his glasses that he can identify other technology that his name is on. But for whatever reason, Peter just can't tell, like, that any of this is just an illusion. Decloak drones. All right, weapons. You want to weaponize? Yep. Weapons only. Stand by. Yikes. Stop. I understand that the, the premise here is that the, all the drones are projecting like holographic images on the all the other drones so they can't actually see all of them like underneath this cloak right but like okay if one of the weapons and we, we know this to be true one of the weapons that the drones are using are mini guns and wouldn't anybody be suspicious of whenever the elementals like pass through a part of the world that there's a bunch of just like casings all over, like bullet casings all over the place like and no one's really like questioning that because they're really doing a lot of damage wherever they go, but it seems like just no one thought to look on the ground. Oh, I hope this works. There's a few different reasons why this wouldn't work. I mean, just so like one thing that is instantly comes to my mind is that there are so many other variables that you have to mess with when you're not in a controlled lab and like before you actually go out to the real world with these drones i'm sure that these this team has like practiced repeatedly right over and over again for i don't know how long to make sure everything is perfect but as anyone will tell you when you are not in a controlled lab where every situation is as ideal as you can make it whatever can go wrong will go wrong and with what's happening right now there are so many other factors like i know in london the humidity is something it rains all the time over there so humidity is a big issue and if it's windy that day and there's debris just falling everywhere like there's a lot going on that would interfere with the image of any projection that's actually being displayed just from what i've named already i don't see any like real projection actually happening with with this clean of an image with the technology that we have today
Guess what? The Gold Life is now an affiliate partner of NordVPN. Information is a huge commodity nowadays. Companies want to know where you live, where your cars park, what you eat, where you work, where you work out, the passwords you have, the websites you're on. Your personal information is being bought and sold by these giant tech companies without your permission. Protect yourself at all times on up to six devices using NordVPN. I have it on my laptop and my phone. That way whenever I go connect to a public Wi-Fi anywhere, I don't have to worry about a thing. Another cool deal is that you get to connect to other countries and get access to their Netflix movies and TV shows, giving you a whole new array of entertainment so you can binge even harder. Use my link in the description down below to get 68% off a two-year plan of NordVPN with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if there's any other movie, TV show, or anime you want me to watch, go ahead and put that in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.